In the previous video I showed how we could create a simple event in a schedule um, to run at a particular time, in this case it was Saturday at 12.38, and to put my camera input onto the output in vMix. Um, that was a very simple example just to show uh, how you can use the scheduler in its most basic form. So now I'd like to talk about some of the other columns. Um, we didn't discuss uh, the uh, columns beyond the overlays last time. So the, the green column here is output and these grey columns are the overlays 1 to 4 in vMix. The next column enables us to run scripts or load videos onto a playlist uh, and do a number of other things. We will come back to that in the next video. Column J is a description. Now this column is quite important. This is a reminder to you what this event is. So I'm going to put in here my event. The reason this is quite important is because the description is what shows up when an event occurs. So if we go back to the application, you can see that um, when a, an event occurs, messages are put up here in the logbox. Now if I refresh my data, don't forget every time we change something we need to refresh it. Um, and then click on running order. That didn't work because my event is in the past. You can see that we've got no events at all here. So if I go back to the schedule, we will make this event sometime in the future. To do that, I'm just going to change the date to Sunday. Um, we'll go back to the scheduler, refresh it, and then we will come back and have another look at the running order. Now, the running order will update itself in a second. There we go. Now, that shows you that this event has been logged by the system, that it's aware of it. It knows that on Sunday at 12.38, my event is going to occur, whatever that may be. It's always a good idea to check in the running order to make sure that your event has been logged by the system.